All right, so move on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my thoughts on Canelo Alvarez's next opponent in the sport of boxing. So the news broke today that Canelo Alvarez had his big time announcement for the sport of boxing that he was going to, I think, I do believe it took place on a Mexican platform uh, for, uh, today in Mexico. I'm not sure if the interview took place today in Mexico, but it was his big uh, announcement that was taking place in the sport of boxing. A lot of fans didn't know if he's going to retire. A lot of fans didn't know if he was going to leave the PBC and Al Heyman, which he signed to a deal with them, a multi-fight deal that's still going on right now. A lot of people didn't know what was next for Canelo Alvarez. So he came out today and had his interview. Uh, and he just basically talked about his future. Still had said he has a lot of years left in the sport of boxing. I do believe he said he has four to five years left in the sport of boxing. Uh, I would be surprised, honestly, if Canelo Alvarez continues to fight for five years because uh, longevity, his longevity, he's already had over 60 fights in his boxing career, pro fights in his boxing career. So I'll be surprised. But the main thing, the main news that came out, and he didn't say this in an interview, but according to a lot of several boxing sources and according to Michael Benson, a reliable boxing source, Canelo Alvarez will be returning to the boxing ring May 4th on Cinco de Mayo weekend. He will be defending his undisputed titles at the super middleweight division in the sport of boxing. He'll be defending the WB, uh, WBC, WBO, WBA, IBF world titles against Jermall Charlo. This is the opponent that is at, that is going around and circulating that Canelo Alvarez has picked to fight on Cinco de Mayo weekend in the calendar year of 2024. Now, how do I feel about this? I feel like Canelo Alvarez is running from David Benavidez, and I feel like Canelo Alvarez missed the layup opportunity to have a big-time fight between David Benavidez and a Cinco de Mayo fight between the two Mexican fighters that would have easily did over a million pay-per-view buys on Cinco de Mayo weekend, the sport of boxing. Right now, Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez is one of the biggest fights that that one of the biggest fights that need to take place in the calendar year 2024. And Canelo Alvarez continues to delay it. Canelo Alvarez needs to be stripped of his WBC title because David Benavidez has been the true number one contender for a very long time. David Benavidez has been doing the dirty work in the super middleweight division as the interim WBC world champion. He's been the mandatory for a long time. He just beat Caleb Plant in the sport of boxing earlier this year. Then he beat uh, Demetrius Andre in and late of 2023 as well. He has showed that he is ready for Canelo Alvarez. He's beat the best competition in the super middleweight division. Why, this, why is this man not getting a shot at Canelo Alvarez next? And why is Canelo Alvarez char targeting another Charlo brother? I'm not saying that Jamal Charlo would not have the same performance as Jamal, but Jamal Charlo has only had one fight since 2021, and that was just a few months ago against Jose Benavidez. Why? What has Jamal Charlo truly done to earn a undisputed championship fight against Canelo Alvarez? Nothing. The man. David Benavidez should be fighting Canelo Alvarez on Cinco de Mayo weekend. It's been well-deserved. A shot at Canelo Alvarez. He's been waiting years and years and years. And we're still getting this fight delayed because Canelo Alvarez wants nothing to do with David Benavidez. I am officially calling this a duck by Canelo Alvarez. Y'all can say whatever, whatever narrative you want to spin that Canelo Alvarez is not ducking David Benavidez. The fact that he entertained a fight with Terrence Crawford, a, a, a welterweight fighter more than entertaining a fight with David Benavidez, uh, Jaime Mugini, uh, another Mexican fighter, he entertained that fight more than fighting David Benavidez. Now you're looking to fight Jamal Charlo Osinco de Mayo weekend and not fight the true number one contender for the uh, at the super middleweight division and David Benavidez. This is a duck. It's a duck. There's no other way how to spin it. If this fight happens between Canelo Alvarez, Jamal Charlo, it's a letdown. I understand, oh, it's Jamal Charlo, not Jamel. Can we really trust Jamal Charlo to have a better performance than what his twin brother did? I mean, Jamel Charlo is great. Don't get me wrong, but moving up from what Jamel did was moving up the 
One fit, starting at 154, he was the undisputed champion at the time at the 154-pound division. He moved up not one, not two, weight, but two weight classes to fight Canelo Alvarez. And the man didn't even try. He was there for a damn paycheck. But Jamal Charlo just returned to the boxing ring since 2021, late last year when he beat Jose Benavidez. And now you're asking him to fight Canelo Alvarez next? If anything... If Jamal Charlo wants anything to do at the 168-pound division, he should be fighting Caleb Plant first in this division. The man pimp-slapped you in the face, and you had nothing to do. You wanted nothing to do with Caleb Plant ever since. That's the fight that Jamal Charlo should really have at the 168-pound division, not Canelo Alvarez. I hope he tries more than his twin, but I really feel like it would just be the same thing over again. Would Jamal Charlo really try to defeat Canelo Alvarez? Or would he just be there for a payday and then we're robbed of a big fight taking place on Cinco de Mayo weekend? I, I just I just fear that that's going to be the same outcome, the same disappointment that we saw when Canelo fought Jamel in September. I feel like if they really do fight that's exactly how this fight's going to play out. But Jamal Charlo just trying a little bit more than his twin than his twin brother. But I'm not happy with this. And I don't even know truly where David Benavidez goes next in the super middleweight division. Who is there really to beat? He's already beat Caleb Plant, Demetrius Andre, uh, um, David Morrell. He's already beat these three guys. Who is there really to beat left at the super middleweight division? Hami Mugina. Dave Benavidez, that, I believe that's lunch food for him at the super middleweight division. But he might have to take that fight because Canelo keeps playing games at this division. But those are my thoughts on Canelo Alvarez potentially fighting Jamal Charlo next in the sport of boxing.